Hi, my name's Gareth Edmonds and I'm brand manager for WP Suspension in the UK. We're here today to test the current range of street products on a variety of different models. We've had our competition line now for over 10 years and that's the sort of the cartridge kit and shock which can be used in sports bikes. Uh, but we've just recently launched our street line focus products which is more for the average day riding on the road but it also can be used on track as well. Currently we have two models available so we have the Yamaha MT-09 and the KTM 790 Duke and in future more products will come. So today we have three different models of bikes uh, on test. We have the KTM 1290 Super Duke R which has the competition line products in uh, and then we have the Yamaha MT-09 and the KTM 790 Duke which has the street line products in. WP are now racing in all three classes in MotoGP, so we're the official Red Bull KTM teams in the MotoGP, the Moto2 and the Moto3 classes. We also produce shocks for the Honda Moto3 bikes as well. We're also partnered with the Pichetti Kawasaki team in the World Supersport 600 class, their Kawasaki Europe's official team. We have had a history with them for quite some time now and it even goes back to two world titles which were won with Keenan Sofoglu. Hi folks, Toad here with VisorDown.com and I am stood in WP's UK HQ with Gareth Edmonds. Thank you very much for having us along. It seems like we have just had the best day so far in summer 2019, which is perfect because we've spent all day razzing around the Northamptonshire countryside on some of these and some other bikes. Um, Gareth, talk us through why we're here and what we're doing. WP's had a, a street range for quite some time now, um, but it's been more of a competition-led uh, product, so like what you've tested today on the Super Duke, um, we've also had these for sort of super stock and super sport bikes. Uh, we've just launched the Street Line, uh, which is fitted to the MT-09 here, and uh, it's the same products then that you would have had in the 790 Duke as well. So that's more of a, a street-focused, as it says in the name, product. So what is it, are we talking full forks or cartridges or what's, what's the deal with them? Because looking at that, it looks pretty stock and standard. Yep, it's a, it's a complete cartridge in the front. So the stock cartridge comes straight out and the, the WP cartridge goes in. Um, the difference being it's fully adjustable. So you've got um, preload adjustment on the springs. Uh, you've also got separate rebound and compression damping as well. So one leg has the compression, one leg has the rebound. Okay. And then on the rear, uh, you've got a, a fully adjustable shock. So high and low speed compression, rebound and preload again. Uh, and it also has a, a separate uh, nitrogen reservoir, which helps keep the shock cool and consistent damping throughout the ride. Cool. So we've been out today riding back to back with uh, standard bikes on standard suspension, be it the KTM Super Duke, the KTM 790 Duke or the MT-09. And then we've had a, uh, a converted bike that's been upgraded with the WP suspension cartridge kits and rear shocks for us to try. So we've had a really, really good chance to properly not only ride the bikes pretty hard, but ride them back to back. So we were coming back to the HQ here at Silverstone, we're swapping from the standard bike onto the one that was kitted out with the WP suspension. Um, and for me, the differences were much, much easier to pick up on the, uh, on the MT-09, because to start with, the standard suspension is it's a bit like an, a waterbed or an airbed, it's kind yeah. of bouncing all over the place. Um, so the changes really were night and day, and if somebody's got an MT-09 and they, they've got that feeling that they just want to take their bike to the next level, what are they going to, what, what's it going to cost them to completely convert it into the sort of same spec that this bike here? Um, cartridge kit is £830 and the, the shock is £830. Obviously, if you're having it fitted through one of our authorised centres, then there would be some, uh, like a labour cost on top of that. Um, but yeah, that's the basic uh, price for the suspension. Is there any, any KTM dealership or any Husqvarna dealership? Um, no, there's a, there's a few KTM group dealers, which are, because they're selling our complete range of, of off-road and street products for both brands, they're also doing WP. Okay. Um, but then there's some uh, WP suspension specialists around the country as well. So we've got nine centres currently. Mm -hmm. um, and we're also looking, at the moment, we're looking for a few more street-focused centres. Right. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much there with off-road, so it's just the street, which is where we're focusing now. So, I mean, who's your your kind of your target customer, um, for want of a better phrase, who is this aimed at? Because it's, it's not really, the MT-09 isn't really a bike that you think, oh, track day hero or, you know, real performance rider. It's a, it's a kind of a naked roadster, B-road scratcher. 
The suspension on the standard bike is not not very good though. So I mean, who, who is this? Who are the kits aimed at? Who's your target sort of demographic? Um, I mean, there's so many people with MT09s. It's obviously a big selling bike, and that's obviously why we focused on that that model to start with. Um, and as you mentioned, the, the stock suspension isn't isn't the greatest. So there was two two key points there. Um, but as far as the customer, because there's so many bike sold there's a there's a wide range mm -hmm. um, it is a product that can be taken to a track day I mean the, the basic technology from that was taken from our super sport 300 products so it can be used on track but like I said it, it's a street named product so it is for the street customer and like I think you've seen today out on those B roads that's the the guy that's going out on those roads on the weekend mm -hmm. wanting to wanting a little bit more from his bike that's exactly who it's aimed at excellent well thanks for talking to us yeah. let's have a little look at some more riding footage see that uh, inserting some decent suspension into your bike doesn't improve your, your riding ability as you've just seen from me wobbling around Northamptonshire but what I can say is that the roads we've been riding today are the perfect test of suspension. Uh, we've got fast flowing stretches, we've got real heavy undulations where the front of the bike's lifting up and, and going through the compression, the back end of the bike's squatting down. There's some of the roads around here have got quite bad potholes as well so it was quite funny to watch everybody in the riding group that we're in was like aiming at the potholes on both the bikes to see how they reacted um, and it's good news if you're in the market for some new suspension the WP kit sat behind me in the MT-09 here it's really really bloody good the difference especially on this bike is like night and day the composure under the brakes um, and especially if you're carrying a little bit of lean the bike just stays so much more settled it's, it's totally unflustered and you're getting very little very little movement uh, from the bars under really heavy braking, there's a lot more sort of like braking support. You don't feel um, on the standard bike, you hammer on the brakes from 80 or 90 miles an hour and you're constantly bottoming out. The problem is there that the suspension's got nowhere to go if it hits another bump and that's when you're gonna sort of have yourself a misdemeanor. But with the WP units, it might be, you know, they've obviously been set up by, you know, people who know what they're doing, but you've got so much support there and it feels such a, such a plush and such a nice feeling front end. Uh, the back end of the bike as well, great composure under power, it didn't matter whether I was riding the MT-09, the 790 Duke or the Super Duke which has got about a bazillion horse horsepower, everything, it just felt so much more planted, so much more composed and so much easier to ride. Uh, the roads that we were on, sometimes it was getting a little bit hectic, you've got fast straight, bump, jump, turn, everything all coming at you at once. And when you're worried about what the bike's doing, when you're constantly thinking, why is, why is that twitching? Why are the handlebars doing this? What, what's happening? It takes your mind off what you're actually doing. And with the WP suspension, I can say that I felt a lot more comfortable and a lot happier on the bike. Uh, there are some people who don't look at suspension as an upgrade. They consider their bike to be good enough as stock and they just concentrate on power upgrades and engine upgrades and ECU changes and stuff like that. And to me, I think it's all bullshit because at the end of the day, a bike that's got, I mean, you've got the Super Duke, which has got 170, 180 horsepower, somewhere around there. You've got that. Why would you want to get more power out of that bike? It doesn't need it. You can't use it all on roads that we've been riding today. For me, if I had the money and I had the bike that was, you know, ready for a bit of an upgrade, I'd be looking at suspension first and foremost, brakes and then tyres. And then if you definitely need it, you're that much of a hero, then I'd be looking at the engine and seeing if I could get a bit more power. But yeah, it's been a really good day. Really enjoyed riding around on these bikes. And thank you very much for WP for uh, having us along. And there'll be a full written review on visordown.com.